If you have bad mental health right now, or you're going through something, you are in a bad phase of your life, there's a good chance that video games are not actually the issue. You and I have always heard all over the world, all over the internet, that video games is the issue. Video games is the reason why you have bad mental health. And we're convinced that video games is the problem. Video games is the reason why we have bad mental health. But I'm here to tell you that that's not actually the case. Now, of course, disclaimer, if you're playing video games for like 20 hours a day, or like you're missing out on sleep, you're not talking to your family, all you're doing is playing video games, like you're literally chronically addicted, then yes, that, that's a problem and you need to get that fixed out yourself. But for most people, like, you know, people who only play for like, let's say three hours a day, four hours a day, like a healthy amount. If you are playing video games a healthy amount, Video games is not going to be the issue as to why you feel purposeless and why you feel like shit and why you feel why you feel like you have bad mental health. Video games is most likely not the problem. Because really think about it. There are people who play video games every single day and they are still happy. They are still fulfilled. They are still successful. And they play video games every single day. So how is video games the issue here? Video games is not the issue. A lot of people always just like to blame video games for the reason they're feeling shit, but it's not that. There are people, there are millions of people who play video games and still feel satisfied with their life. They still feel fulfilled and content and they're successful. You go on YouTube, you see all these YouTubers who have millions of subscribers who are playing video games for a living and they're not depressed. They feel fulfilled with their life. So what's the issue then? What is the actual issue? If it's not video games, then what's the, what's the issue, right? Well, it's your drive. It's your work ethic. It's how much work you're willing to put in to live a successful life. Video games aren't actually inherently bad. They're not. Unless again, obviously you play an extremely unhealthy amount, then yes, but for you and I, it's not that bad. But not having drive in your life is the issue. We as humans, we all have at least one thing that we're passionate about. And that could be anything, okay? That could be gaming, looking at birds. There are some birds squeaking in the background. So it could be looking at birds. It could be looking at trees, weather, maybe it's school, whatever. Every single person can have a passion for something, 100%. 90% of people will have that passion, that burning passion, that burning love for something that, you know, that, that they do. But they don't use that in an effective way. They just waste that passion. And that is why people feel purposeless. And that is why people feel like shit. It's because they feel like they don't have anything to live for. But the beauty of life is that anything that you're passionate for in your life, anything, you can become successful out of it. There is an audience for your passion, that you're for something that you're very passionate about. It could be anything. It could be that one thing in your mind that you're thinking, no, no one's gonna listen to my, no one's gonna listen to my passion here because it's just so stupid. Trust me, there are gonna be thousands, if not tens of thousands of people who are going to listen to your passion. My passion is literally just speaking to the camera. And if I said that 40 years ago, when obviously the internet wasn't really a big thing, everyone would have just looked at me and thought I was crazy. Like, how am I gonna make a living out of just talking to people online? But the beauty of life right now is that you and I can make money doing everything. And that includes video games. So if you are someone, if you're like, you know, younger me who loved to play video games, but did nothing about it, you can make a living out of video games. Look on YouTube. There are millions and millions of content creators who play video games for a living and they make exceptional money from it. So why not just do, do that as well? If you, if you want to play video games, if nothing else in this life excites you except for video games, actually make something out of that. Have that passion and use your drive. This is where it gets tricky, right? Because obviously you can't just keep playing video games for the rest of your life and expect to get money. No, you actually still have to put in work. And that is your drive. And most people, 90% of people don't do this. They don't have that drive. They have a passion. They have something that they're very passionate for, but they don't have a drive. They don't have a good work ethic. They get burnt out really quickly. They, they're they lazy. They're like, I don't mean this in a rude way, but they're lazy. They, they don't want to do the work. They want to get the glory without, you know, working. They, they, they're too tired to do it. This is the actual issue. If video games is your passion, then everyone's literally been telling you that your passion is the issue. 
That's not it. It's your drive that's the issue. You don't have a drive. Well, 90% of people don't have a drive. Now the issue is, is that most people who do play video games don't actually have any drive. Most people who play video games, all they want to do is play video games. They don't want to actually put in the work to make playing video games an actual job. They don't want to put in that work, they only want to play video games. Obviously doing YouTube, I don't have that many subscribers, but I still feel so fulfilled. I probably feel just as fulfilled as, as someone who has a million subscribers because I not only have a passion, which is speaking to the camera, but I also, you know, use my drive of uploading videos and doing this. Obviously, I could improve a lot more. I'm only uploading like once a week, twice a week. I could do much, I, I could do much better than that. But 90% of people don't even have the drive to do that. And I'm not saying that to brag, but 90% of people are too lazy to even do this. People just want to have the fun life and they don't want to do any of the work. And then eventually it's going to come to a point where they're going to graduate from college and then go to graduate from university, get a shit job and then work there for the rest of their life. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. You can escape from that through anything, through anything. It, that could be video games. That could be any of your passion. It could be the weirdest passion ever. It could be the passion about building chairs, looking at trees, looking at birds, watching other YouTube videos. It could be anything. And you can still make a living out of it. You just have to put in that work. You have to have a drive. If you have that drive, that 10% of people who have that drive, you could achieve anything with, with any passion possible. Hope I didn't sound too arrogant in this video. I'm trying not to do that. But I really hope you understand my message. And if you did, if you did find value in this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and it's a win-win for the both of us. Thank you for watching.